Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, You She Talks. And today we are talking about British nurse Lucy Letby, who was found guilty of murdering seven newborn babies. We have a lot of information about this, so let's get started. A British nurse has been found guilty of murdering seven babies and attempting to kill six others at the hospital where she worked, making her country's worst baby serial killer in recent times. Lucy Letby, 33 years old, harmed babies in her care by injecting air into their blood and stomachs, overfeeding them with milk, physically assaulting them and poisoning them with insulin, Manchester Crown Court in Northern England heard. In one case, let me murdered a baby boy identified as child E by administrating air into his bloodstream, the UK's PM new media agency reported. The next day, she attempted to kill his twin brother, child F, by poisoning him with insulin. A court order protects the identity of the children involved in the allegations against Lethby, including those who died and survived under her care. Police found a trove of handwritten notes while searching Lethby's house during their investigation, including one that read, I am evil, I did this. She secretly attacked 13 babies on the neonatal ward at the Countess of Chester Hospital between 2015 and 16, Britain's Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, said in a statement. Her intention was to kill the babies while duping her colleagues into believing that there was a natural cause of death, prosecutors argued. Pascal Jones of the CPS called Letby's action a complete betrayal of the trust placed in her. Lucy Letby sought to deceive her colleagues and pass off the harm she caused as nothing more than a worsening of each baby's existing vulnerability, she said. In her hands, innocuous substances like air, milk, fluids or medication like insulin would become lethal. She perverted her learning and weaponized her craft to inflict harm, grief and death. Victims families say they may never truly know why this happened. To lose a baby is a heartbreaking experience that no parent should ever have to go through. But to lose a baby or to have the baby harmed in these particular sub circumstances is unimaginable, the statement said. In 2018 and 19, Letby was arrested twice by police in connection with her investigation. She was arrested again in 2020. Authorities found notes Letby had written during the searches of her address. I don't deserve to live. I kill them on purpose because I am not good enough to take care for them. She wrote in one memo, adding in another, I'm a horrible, evil person and in capital letters, I'm evil. I did this. The mother of child E and F said she completely trusted Letby's advice while giving evidence to court. However, she said she knew that there was something wrong when her baby child E started screaming in the intensive care unit one night. It emerged that before Letby murdered child E, he started bleeding when she tried to assault him. It was a sound that should not come from a tiny baby. I can't explain what the sound was. It was horrendous, more of a scream than a cry. There was no post-mortem post examination following child E's death. The mother said that she thought he had passed away from natural causes. Her twin son, child F, later survived an attempt by Letby to kill, by, kill him by insulin poisoning. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch this space for more informative news.